In this session, we're going to cover a little bit of blockchain economics. Before we get to it, it's very important to remark and really highlight and emphasize that an economic theory is just what it is, a sort of mental model of the real world. But in reality, we're going to figure out in the long, in the long term whether this mental model uh, will be proved correct or not. For now, let's explore some of the most interesting theories behind the blockchain based business models. One of those theories is actually the theory of the application layer versus the protocol layer, which is theory that has been developed by Joel Monegro, a former analyst at USV and a venture capitalist. Now, this um, theory is very interesting because it actually tries to set a difference and a core difference between the way the web, especially the so-called web 2.0, so the web that developed after the, the year 2005 going forward, uh, in respect to how the blockchain protocols are developing right now. So this theory tells us that when you look at um, uh, the, the internet in general, you see that there is a, a protocol layer um, the, the web economy is made of, let's say, two core parts. One part is the protocol layer, the other part is the applications layer. When you look instead at the uh, blockchain-based uh, economy, uh, the things are, uh, you know, switched upside down. So you got an applications uh, layer beneath the protocol layer. Now, why is this difference important? This theory is telling us that when it comes to uh, the, the web economy, most of the value, uh, the, the value in terms of the economic value uh, is get, uh, um, you know, it has been captured by uh, companies, by corporations that built actually those applications on top of a protocol. So the real economic value was not uh, in the in the protocol itself uh, for uh, some uh, view, few important reasons. The most important one is that, of course, when it comes to data, uh, you want to look uh, for uh, things on the web that can gain network effects. Now, you know that on the internet, network effects are not gained uh, at protocol layer because the data is not locked inside the protocol. Instead, the data is locked inside the application. So if you're using Facebook, if you're using WhatsApp, if you're using TikTok or any other application, you know that they gather data inside the application. The data is proprietary and they're using, refining, repackaging the data to actually grow their business model. And that's the whole uh, model of, uh, of uh, so-called Web 2.0. So in this case, you know, the network effect are forming at applications layer because that's where the data is locked in. That's where the data is, uh, has grown uh, and that's where, you know, uh, network effects are built up over time. In a blockchain based economy, instead, we have the opposite effect. Here, the data is not locked in, is not proprietary, is not a secret data. It's actually data that is uh, kept public on top of the protocols. And the protocols are really the, uh, let's say, the, the, the the uh, projects that gain traction over time and that's where things you know that's uh, where we see network effects in place but network effects here are not just a matter of having users and developers on top of a, of a plot platform as usually it happened during the web era but uh, in this case uh, protocol layers pick up uh, you know traction and momentum when they're able to actually align interest of users developers but also investors uh, and, um, you know, um, core software developers and many other people that on top of this protocol can actually um, build a valuable project and also the community around it. So here the theory tells us that on the one side, most of the value is captured at protocol layer while the applications are, yes, interesting, but less so because the network effects are not built on top of those applications as the data is instead stored at protocol level here. So that's the, the main, the main uh, difference. And now when you look at uh, this sort of theory, of course, uh, it's very interesting, especially to trace the main difference on how the web developed and how the uh, blockchain based, uh, you know, economies uh, developing right now. But it's very important to understand that, again, uh, network effects can be built up in several ways. And for instance, during the web era, we used and we understood the network effects in terms of data of users and the way it got repackaged to also uh, create, uh, you know, to make the platform more interesting for users, but also to uh, sell advertising on top of those platforms. 
In a network where instead those network effects might form at protocol level in a, in a different way, and where instead uh, what we see is that you can build uh, incentives within the protocol so that the community can work as a promoter for the applications that get built on top of the protocol, the network effects will be slightly different. So what I'm saying here is that we may actually see also you know, a, a blockchain-based economy where also applications become extremely valuable and even more viable of protocol underlying protocols. And the reason is uh, because actually uh, the brand power and um, the, the brand power of the application compared to the plot protocol may actually make a huge difference in the future and the community underlying it may actually help build in a different way uh, you know, a network effects also because let's remember that not all the data that will actually be used by the applications um, on top of uh, the blockchain will be actually stored on the protocol. Some of it will be only in the application. So not everything is going to sit on top of the, of the blockchain. So uh, here we might see a future where things become more interesting and then actually we may see a more hybrid uh, future where both protocols and applications are very, very valuable and also let's remember that right now the blockchain economy is at a very very early stage so uh, we still see a lot uh, the protocols underlying the applications that we're using but in the future just like like for, for the internet uh, users might not be aware of the underlying protocol that are being used imagine the case of ethereum which is getting used to develop many many applications on top of it it might be that users don't even know that the protocol underlying their application is actually the Ethereum uh, protocol. Uh, they might ignore that because the application at that point has evolved at the point of not showing the underlying protocol, something that instead right now uh, it's, uh, it's not happening because the people that are using it is still num uh, limited in number. They do understand the industry and many users are also interested in understanding the technical development something that going forward as more users come in will completely change.